In this report from the workshop, I am going to show you how I got this crazy idea to make a camper, you know, like a camper trailer, cuckoo clock. And so I jumped into Corel Draw and VCarve and started the process. And also I'm going to show you how I turned wood into brick, also with technology. In addition to that, I'm going to show you my log cabin cuckoo clock that is cuckooing away. Honestly, I don't know where I got the idea of making a camper cuckoo clock, but somehow I did. So what's the first thing you do? You ask Google for pictures of a camper. So I was looking for something that was like the quintessential camper, a little bit retro, the one that everybody has in mind when they hear the word. So what I did was I chose one and copied and pasted it into Corel Draw. Once I had it in Corel Draw, I traced the shape and then had to decide where the dial and the cuckoo door were going to go. So the dial is going to be on the side of the camper, and that's about the size of it. And then the cuckoo door fit perfectly in this hole in the door. And then you can see the arm there. That's the arm that the cuckoo will be in. So that all worked out. So I saved it as a PDF, imported it into VCarve, and then I created the tool paths for my first round on the side of the camper and that's a simulation of it cut out. So now I'll take my flash drive down to the CNC machine and test it out. This is a general store or a pet rescue and there's the dial and that's the cuckoo door and those are some doors for the front. There'll be a portico and of course a roof and then that's the back. I haven't quite decided how to do that. But I decided it had to be brick. So I created it in CorelDRAW, brought it into Vectric, and then I created the tool paths in Vectric VCarve. And there's the simulation, looks pretty good there, but what happens when it's really cut out? So I cut it out on my CNC, and I put some gray paint down for the mortar, and then mixed up some paint for the brick, and oh my gosh, it looks really good. So now the next thing to do is to cut a whole front and the sides. This is my log cabin cuckoo clock, the layout. I was testing things out, deciding what to do. And here it's been lasered and I'm deciding on the colorway. I went with the blue, of course, and I use General Finish's top coat. I just gives a beautiful, beautiful finish to it, as you can see. The idea here is that it's a quilt draped over a bed. Of course, the bed is a clock box, a clock case, and you can see here they're glued onto the box, and I still have the trim to add. Keith Seabolt is the best cuckoo clock doctor in the United States, and he tests everything for me. And there it is, <laughs> my log cabin quilt cuckoo clock. This is a big clock, and so I got to put in large bellows, which gives it a deep sound. It's very unusual. Usually the clocks are small that come from Germany. That lever silences a clock at night. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up on all the cuckoo going on here at the farm at the American Cuckoo Clock Company.